What's up guys, Mr. Travis Pavlik, here we go, <clears throat> we're getting into it. This is Mr. Mrs. Bitcoin, however she identifies today, and this is the daily chart. I'm looking at the camera here, but I'm looking at the charts here. Uh, we're just going to keep going with it and not worry about it. So, we have the daily. We have some ugliness. We are still within this massive triangle ever since uh, the end of June. June, July, August. It's now almost the end of August, August 26th. Eventually, this thing will crack. Uh, we just had a daily reversal, so meaning that this went above here, but again, it was faded. So we had a uh, bullish formation here, faded hard. This was a nasty move. Uh, caught bids around the support uh, of being this triangle. Anywhere where there's a two-day reversal here is going to be a short. Um, I don't really expect a ton of you know, really support people buying, you know, just under here because this, this is a uh, super coiled move coming. So beware. It would be nice if we just kept the trend up. I would prefer that, but we have to be, you know, we have to be flexible. We have to think two different ways. You don't have to trade this either way. If you are not able to short, if you're on Coinbase or I think GDAX um, or Coinbase Pro, they might let you short, but either way, a big move is coming. That we know. That's Bitcoin. You could wait until... That's the other thing. So we had an inside week, and so far we have an inside week, but realistically under... 97.59 on Coinbase. 97.87 on Bitfinex. So these are the weekly areas. So far, we're not looking too bullish. So far, people are pretty bearish. So far, we're not seeing this continued trend up, although it is early, it's too soon. So this is, uh, I'm also, I'm taking in a lot of um, traders that I also watch that trade Bitcoin. I've seen their sentiment shift a little bit because we've just been going, doing nothing. And now we're starting to get like, uh, I could see the downside to this. So EOS destroyed. I keep watching this one, waiting for the setup. Um, but I could definitely see 250 here again, so maybe this is the one to short. <laughs> um, but I, I kind of don't, one, two, three, four, and then a five to new lows um, would be an interesting place, just as long as two, I guess, technically it's all the way down to what, dollar sixty six was the low. So, gonna keep watching EOS just because there's a lot of, uh, you know, if Bitcoin moves 10%, maybe EOS will move 15 or 20%. Just to um, show you when I say you can only do one thing at a time. So when I say a big move is coming, let's actually look at this. So. Periods of high volatility going down lower. This could definitely take us all the way to the end of September. So we could have another six, uh, six weeks of this, realistically, until it either broke one way or another. And then we would see historic volatility um, just keep drying up, drying up, drying up um, before we get like this big move. So periods in low volatility 
and then we're in this big formation, this big triangle. That's just all. There's not anything else to see inside of here. I do look at the shorter time periods, Litecoin, same thing. But Bitcoin, I do look inside, you know, for uh, the setups. There was a one, two, three, four, five. And then uh, it actually kind of one, two, three, four, five. Usually it's a, a three wave sequence, but this is why I got super bullish in here. We were able to catch this move up. Now we've just been, for the most part, sitting on our hands. I do have some uh, Bitcoin position, but it's not leveraged um, like I'm used to. So chop and grind along here, but realistically, if we get like a two day low, it's a short signal. And if we go below this week's low, it's a short signal. And then, you know, we could definitely still catch uh, a bid, you know, 8,900. It's the weekly um, 21. Weekly 21 could still kind of fake us out, take it to the bottom of the triangle and fake us out. But either way, I'd rather be short as if it exits this triangle. So, Beware, that's it. It's probably too much, um, but I just want to give you guys updates just how I'm, I'm thinking. I'm not secretly uh, getting giant bullish or bearish positions. It's just more of the same. Um, this is a very skeptical move. It happened very fast and then it was immediately faded. So it's nothing to get excited about. However, if we did, you know, what would change my mind is if we had, you know, a close up here and then a close above this region here. So anything above 11,000, basically 10,988 on Coinbase, uh, 10,964. If we got a daily close above there, you know, eh, depending on where we were within the triangle, I would like to see that continued upside. The, the good thing about having a triangle, a lot of people, they just keep wanting to buy, 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 but every single time that passes, there's a little bit more of a chance that it will break and you'll be the one holding the bag because uh, you just thought, oh, I'm just gonna buy support every single time. So just keep that in mind. Risk management has to be under control. We could get a move to 7,500 or thereabouts. So it's just important to keep uh, risk in mind and understand high volatility, low volatility, high volatility, low volatility. We're in that period where it's, volatility is declining. It's getting ready for a big move. I don't know which way it is yet, but we are slightly long and we're watching ready to flip short if we get the signal. That is it, Mr. Travis Pavlik, I'm out. Peace.